Hi people, we should be live. It is um, 2.46 September 13th. And uh, yeah, just got home. I tried to do a live stream early on, but for some reason it was not letting it happen. But um, I don't know, whatever. Anyways, that is in the process of uploading now. Um, I've got some interesting things to tell you guys. It's a beautiful day, it's very warm out there by the way. But um, yeah. The stupidity here never ceases to amaze me. <laughs> another problem for another neighbor. She was texting me and bugging me a few days ago about coming over for a beer. She was drunk, she was this and that. And uh, today, apparently, she says she's gonna charge me for harassment when I have a record of reporting her for all these things before. And you're gonna laugh at this. Apparently, I was the RO according to her. Cuckoo. <laughs> I have it right here from her. Quote, you stop, you psycho. I'm fucking calling housing. My mom saw you go to the RO. Total BS. Total BS. I wasn't near there. Then she says, stop the fucking booze, you hypocrite. Blocking you. I wasn't at the RO. Duh. Retards. <laughs> crazy. Talk about crazy. Duh, 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 duh. I wasn't near there. But um, this person has a problem with crack, drugs, drinking, pills, everything. And um, charging me with taking pictures and harassment. Not even H. She doesn't know how to spell. I don't know what she was on. She was drinking, probably doing drugs, probably pilling up and drinking and crack. God knows what. But obviously she's on something, judging by the text here. Most of it's not even spelled properly, so she's on something. Instead of harassment, garassment. You're drunk. Instead of B-T-T-O-G. <laughs> Learn to spell, girl. Learn to spell. Doesn't even know how to spell. And apparently, she doesn't even know how to spell. B-I-T-C-G. <laughs> Half of words can't even spell, so I assume she's drunk. I assume that she's on something, probably crack, cocaine, maybe um, pills, maybe drunk, I don't know. But she's on something, obviously, and that was early on today. That was early on today, and um, yeah. And claiming that my, her mother saw me go to the RO, which is another um, stupid lie, and uh, maybe maybe there's something wrong with her, maybe she's schizophrenic, maybe it's drug-induced idiocy, who knows, I don't know. Doesn't make any sense, but she's kind of like... Because everything's provable, doesn't matter. Been having problems with this person for a long time. She, um, uh, unfortunately, I have to admit, I do feel sorry for her sometimes when I see her from time to time and get her a drink or two, which is my problem, I never should have done that. <laughs> My bad. And, uh, you know, that's not a good thing for me to do, especially when she has this much problems. She has these many problems mentally. And obviously it seems like hallucinations or some kind of schizo, schizophrenic um, fantasy that I was at the RO, which is not, absolutely not true at all. Total BS. Easy to approval. But there's something wrong with her. And she managed to get everybody, and unfortunately, everybody seems to believe her lies. I don't know why. Crocodile tears, maybe? I don't know. You know. Had to report her more than once for drug activity and so forth and everything, all that jazz before a couple of years ago. But anyways, yeah. That's my uh, thing for today. Um... Other than that, my toe's doing much, much better. I was considering doing a live stream with my bike with the chest mount I have. Um, yeah, got a chest mount. So I can do a live stream via my bike and everything, all that jazz. But because my medication, well, antibiotics for my toe, it's much better. Um, the, one of the side effects um, is dizziness and nausea. I already had a wave of dizziness once already today, and it comes suddenly like kind of like a vertigo and a bit of an nausea spell here and there that's normal that's a side effect from the medication the um, antibiotic so I think it's best to be safe than sorry and not do a cycling stream um, I finished my antibiotics from my toe by Thursday 
So I don't know. I'm, um, we'll see. I'm just take it in stride. Um, because the last thing I want to do is go cycling and then get a dizzy spell unexpectedly like that and, took and fall off my bike and get an accident. So it's rather really be safe than sorry. Even though my toe was much better, I can cycle. I cannot risk the arm um, with the dizzy spells from the side effect from the antibiotic there. And cefasclone or something like that is an antibiotic. And yeah, not much to do. But yeah. I just can't believe the lies from this crazy cuckoo. There's something wrong with her. I mean, come on, what's wrong with her? It's crazy. I was at the RO. <laughs> I was with my friend in the market there, and that's pretty well. I was doing a live stream the other day before, and I don't know, she's just cuckoo. At the RO. My mother, sorry you called the RO. You know that her mother's a cuckoo. I don't know, I don't know. Whatever, anyways, um, is, it is what it is. Crazy people are crazy people. What can you do? It doesn't really matter what they say, they lie. Evidence, evidence, the truth is the truth, and that's it, that's all. No what they say, I'm taking the advice of these security people, OCH security. Um, I was assaulted a couple of years ago from a neighbor. I audio recorded, have a, have a neighbor witness, but apparently that's not enough evidence. Apparently um, what they want is video evidence only. That's what the security told me. So these people have beefed me recording them, and they're harassing me. Hey, don't yell at me, yell at security. Security says the only way to stop these people harassing me and threaten you. Right now it's word against word before. It was only word against word about the harassment. Their words get mine. So now I'm actually, um, uh, for my safety, I do the YouTube streams, of course, but to cover my, to cover my butt from being harassed or threatened again, which has been happening, as you guys know, this proves them to be liars. Um, and, uh, yeah, extreme racism, extreme harassment. These people do drugs. There's, I saw a crack, I saw a needle just down the street from my place. There's a heroin addiction problem. There's crack problem here. There's um, pills happening here. And I'm, I'm probably the only person on the whole floor who doesn't do drugs. Mind you, I do have a bit of a drinking problem on and off. I'm being honest about that. But I don't. I do it mainly for medication um, purposes, like um, for the previous abuse I have been through, previous threats, previous assaults and everything, all that, and being triggered and everything by these people and unrelenting uh, harassment and threats and so forth and all this jazz. Um, you know, I tend to go on a drinking binge. Just being honest, just being real, and yeah. And uh, these people are way worse than me, so doesn't make any sense what they're, you know. Like they say, birds with feather flock together. And I'm glad I'm not part of their flock. You know, the drugs, everything, all that. I don't want to know what else goes on. It seems suspicious. Some underage people seem to be going in place. And I really don't want to talk about that right now. I'm just kind of freaking out about that. Um, I tried to report them once before, more than once, but... Nothing's really being done about these um, illegal activities going on here. These uh, these things going on. And it doesn't really help much. There's no camera on the second floor. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, I uh, just want to give an update what's going on. Um, it was good to hang out with my friend in the market there yesterday evening. And we just... Sat there, we always do, and just watch people and talk and take it easy. Just take it easy, you know. He's a good guy. We know each other for about two years now. He's a nice guy. And I came home, watched Johnny Stumble's live stream, walking home and everything and so forth. And, uh, yeah. It was an easy going day yesterday. And then Saturday, I did two, a couple of live streams there, as you guys know. Um, went down to Tunis Pasture area. Went down to the Carlton uh, Tavern to have some idiot make another wrist smirk at me, which I did not like. As you guys know, I talked about that too. But, um, yeah, it's been a struggle. It's always a struggle with me. It's hard to be happy these days when these people just bring me down. It's just really hard. Like, total negative reinforcement. There's no support. There's no positivity. There's, you know, nothing much to really, um, uh, to lean on right now, except just uh, talking to you guys. It's pretty good. Meditation every night, I have meditation music on every single night. So I'm trying to do that to heal. I'll try to 
cushion the blow from these people. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah. You know, just ridiculous lies, the stupidity, you know. Even those two security officials didn't charge the guy and audio evidence not enough, video evidence only. Then I get yelled for video recording everything, but I, I do a YouTube channel. And you guys now know about the harassment and threats I am going through. That is video evidence right there. There you go. But yeah. Um, I also want to talk about the death of Loretta Saunders. She's a Nick woman who was found dead in Happy Moose uh, something or other, I think. I forgot. Her sister was previously murdered too a couple years back. And uh, Loretta Saunders became an advocate against murder and missing indigenous women as well, an advocate against that. She was uh, part of the member of the um, National Inquiry for the Murder and Missing Indigenous Women, and a few other things as well. I'm going to write down a few notes and do a live stream, mainly um, highlighting her case and the sister's case of the death there. And I am trying to advocate against racism and the same thing too, violence against women. It's happened to me too much and it's happened to me a lot and uh, the threats here and everything going on here is like escalating and which could be cause for conspiracy as well. They're judging they all know each other and seem to support each other and support criminal activity here which I am trying to advocate against and nothing seems to be done. At any rate, um, uh, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do some more research on Loretta Sanders and her death and her sister. And then I'm, I plan to do a live stream specifically on her. And uh, if we're lucky, maybe we can do a Zoom call or something, all that, a live Zoom, Zoom call or something, but I doubt it. For now, I'm just gonna plan about Loretta Sanders and the history of Loretta Sanders, her sister's death, how Loretta started advocating against the murder of missing women, and now she's dead now too. She was part of the National Inquiry of um, Murder and Disease Women. And I was a member of the um, Aboriginal Community Justice Program. I was a council member, recruit, making sure that people don't go to jail. We talk in a circle. And we basically make sure that people don't go to jail. We suggest things like, um, I used to be in shelters. I know about the cultural, um, Culture Day in Wabano on Mondays back then. And shelters and so forth. Other people have experience in different fields. So that's why I was a council member for that back then. Um, that person who founded that now is selling his own coffee brand, Mark Morales, I believe. And he was the one who originally started it, and he, he now is focusing on this coffee, this coffee he produces, and grocery stores have his coffee and so forth. Right now, the person who was in charge last time I checked was Greg Mikas, I believe. <laughs> And I talked to him once in a, a Christmas party down in City Hall a couple of years back before COVID. He talked to me briefly. He knows my situation and so forth, too. He knows everything that's going on. But, yeah. Um, so, I guess that's about it for now. Um, I'll try to do a uh, stream about Loretta Sanders. I'm going to um, uh, check out her history, put some notes down, cue cards and so forth, and I'll prepare a stream about her history. And I'll also... Um, uh, yeah, that's about it for now. So anyways, guys, the other video is going to be uploading. It's taking a little time to upload. It should be uploaded by 3, 34 o'clock. And yeah, uh, that's about it for now. And um, take care. Stay safe. And uh, be kind to each other and protect each other. Take care. Have a nice day, everybody.